Hello, my name is Susan Laws and this is a Clydesiders magazine tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to make a ferry caravan from things you'll have at home because it's time for the ferries to go their holidays. This video was made with help from extra special guest Thumbelina, the fairy from my garden. First step is to build the caravan. This is a little bit tricky at times, so it might be better for a parent or guardian to do this bit first. To build the caravan, you will need a ruler, some pliers or snips, some skewers, a craft knife if you have one, scissors, a template and coloured paper, thin cardboard, a glue stick, masking tape, string, thick cardboard, a round object, a pencil and a cutting mat. Step 1. Using the caravan template, cut out the front and back. As you can see, I've printed out the template from the PDF that accompanies this video, but you can draw your own template on a piece of paper. This will work just as well as the printed template, as long as you make sure the template you draw fits onto an A4 sheet of paper. For the front panel of the caravan, we need to cut out the window and the door before we begin with the template. If you have a craft knife at home, it's really handy for this part, however, if you've not got one, it's okay, you can still use your scissors for this, this just makes the job a little bit easier. Step 2. Using your round object as a template, create the wheels. You can see that I've drawn round the lid four times. This is so that I can cut out the four circles and stick them together to make slightly chunkier wheels. It just makes them that little bit more durable when you come to roll it about. Be really careful putting the hole in the circles. I thought it was a little bit easier to do this before they were glued together. For my caravan, cutting the skewer to 22cm was just about the right length, but don't worry, you don't have to do this just at the moment, you can work it out nearer the end. Step 3. Take the thin cardboard and create the middle section. For my thin cardboard, I've used a cereal box and you can see I'm marking 2cm away from the long edge and I'll draw a line to connect all the dots. I'll repeat the same on the other side. Step 4. 
With my scissors I'm cutting fringes all the way up to the line all the way along the edge. They don't need to be very wide, actually it's better if they're smaller. Now I'm just repeating the same thing along the other edge. Once you've done this, work your way along each side and fold the tabs down. Now we're going to stick these two pieces together with masking tape. If you have longer cardboard in the house, you wouldn't need to do this part. If you bend the final piece a little bit, it's easier to fit around the caravan for the roof. Step 4. Connect front and back of the caravan using the middle piece. Before you start, it's a good help to line up some little small strips of masking tape to make it easier as you go. This part of the process is a little bit tricky, you just have to go slowly and do a little bit at a time and eventually you'll get round to the other side. Once everything feels secure, you can stick that line in paper on the back of the caravan using Pritt stick. Now you have to just do the same process for the front of the caravan. Make sure you've got your masking tape ready. Once you've made sure everything's secure and stuck down on the inside, go around the outside of the caravan and just secure everything there with the masking tape too. Step 5. Attach the base of the caravan. For this part I'm using the side of the cornflakes box with the tab still on. First just measure it up to see how it will fit in and then you can cut it to size.
Attach your base, apply glue and tape inside the caravan and then repeat and tape on the outside too. Step 6. Add floor lining, string to pull along and test the wheels. Paper mache. This is probably the messiest part of the whole caravan build. Please make sure that you've covered your tables and protected your clothes. To paper mache, you will need PVA glue, a bowl, a brush, newspaper strips, newspaper, a water cup and a table covering. It also wouldn't hurt to wear some old clothes for this process. Step 1. Cover the top of the caravan with strips of paper mache. You can see that I've prepared some strips in advance just to make it a little bit easier when everything's quite sticky. To begin with, I'm working my way around the edges of the caravan just to bind it together. When you're learning your newspaper strips, it's a good idea to go in opposite directions. I've added maybe two layers of newspaper to the caravan at this point. Step 2. Once it's dry enough to turn over, cover the bottom of the caravan and wheels with paper mache too. The best way to cover the wheels is to cut out some small circles of newspaper and to use long strips to bind everything together. Once you've paper mache the full caravan, leave it to touch dry and then you can add some white into the PVA mix. This will act as a base coat and will need to dry overnight before painting. Painting. This is probably the most fun step of all. Decorate your caravan in any way you would like to. To paint, you will need a water cup, some paint brushes, a paint palette, acrylic paints and your table covering. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you joined in, I really hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope the fairies have fun on their holidays too. See you later!